The animal kingdom is full of surprising creatures. There's millions of crazy critters and some nightmarish animals swiftly crawling around the face of the earth we don't know about. Some of the animals are fearsome, whereas others may just look normal. Some of these may seem outrageous for having gigantic size, and others possess distinct features that make them look like aliens. Some animals possess sharp teeth or fangs or numerous legs, while others can slither away at super speed. Most of these animals are considered to be harmless to mankind. Today, we'll acquaint you with the 15 most shocking creatures that don't look like they're from planet Earth. Fish with claws This fish, featured in a TikTok video, seems quite abnormal as it has claws similar to a crab. On a closer look, you'll realize that the fish is not supposed to have pincers like a crab. This fish crab seems to be a hybrid of two different species, which in biological terms is an offspring resulting from combining the qualities of two organisms from different breeds, varieties, species, or genus through sexual reproduction. Hybrids can be different from their parents, but can show hybrid vigor. In genetics, the focus is kept on the number of chromosomes, whereas in taxonomy, a critical question is how closely related the parent species are. This bizarre clawed fish shows that its parents are not closely related. Such experiments can lead some species to extinction. The fish seems to hold crab legs like a weapon. Garial The garial is a reptile in the crocodile order, and its oldest known depictions are about 4,000 years old. It's found in northern India and Nepal, and lives mostly in and around rivers. Locals used to attribute mystical and healing powers to this strange animal. They use them as ingredients for indigenous healing medicines. Garial possesses some stunning features such as its jaws being very long and slender. The mature male possesses a large bulbous and hollow protuberance at the end of its snout and is called agara or garal, which is used for socializing and to blow bubbles during mating displays. They come out of the water only for basking to regulate their body temperature both in hot and cold weather. Their mouth contains rows of small and extremely sharp teeth. Unfortunately, the population of wild gharial has severely declined since the 1930s, and presently it's limited to just 2% of its historical range. Finger Monkeys The smaller species of monkeys live on treetops of South American rainforests. These small monkeys are sometimes referred to as thumb monkeys, pocket monkeys, and little lions due to the fur which surrounds their heads like a mane. The finger monkeys can grow longer than 6.2 inches, excluding their tail, which can grow up to 9 inches. These are social creatures and live in wild in small groups ranging from 2 to 9 or 10 individuals, usually made up of an adult male, adult female, and their offspring. They support themselves vertically on trees by using their long, narrow teeth to feed on sap. They also consume resin, gum, and vines of trees, small insects, butterflies, spiders, and fruit. They can rotate their heads up to 180 degrees to look for any danger, and can leap up to 16 feet. Emerald Boa Emerald boas are non-venomous serpents, and they have extremely long front teeth and use these for catching their prey. These tree-dwelling snakes spend most of their time high up in the foliage and are native to lowland tropical rainforests of South America. They grow up to six feet long and are nocturnal ambush hunters as they lie on a branch above the ground while waiting to strike any small rodent that walks below them. They're capable of picking up temperature differences between prey and background. Nerve signals are transmitted to the visual system and the boa sees with heat image. Its two halves of the jaw are connected by fibrous tissues which can stretch 20 to 30 times their normal length. Emerald boas are carnivorous and eat birds and small mammals like rats, bats, squirrels, lizards, and even monkeys. Geoducks This large saltwater clam is found in the Pacific Northwest and western coast of Canada. This massive shellfish is very expensive in Japan, Korea, and China, where people consider it an aphrodisiac. Geoduck is unique due to its shape. Its anatomy is quite simple. It has a neck hanging out of the shell and a fleshy part called a mantle or breast inside the shell. Its shell hardly grows more than 8 inches, but the soft body can reach up to 3 feet. The mollusks have a quite long lifespan, at times reaching up to 165 years. Liking of geoduck by food enthusiasts in the Pacific Northwest and other areas signifies that it has a distinct flavor which attracts people. In the US market, it costs $20 to $30 a pound. Sea Sapphires Sea Sapphire changes color every moment. 
This most beautiful tiny crustacean possesses alternating layers of hexagonal crystals and cytoplasm on its back that reflect the light, creating a sparkling ray of colors. The color scheme varies from endless blue to the color resulting based on the preferred depth of each species to inhabit. Scientists believe that the color helps them to find mating partners. Most surprisingly, female sea sapphires are exclusively translucent, thereby they are rarely seen visible to the human eyes. They're extremely small, too. Sea sapphire is found at the base of the ocean food chain. They're found in the ocean and in nearly every freshwater habitat. Leopard Seal If you happen to be in the ocean near Antarctica, you may come across leopard seals, which are wonderful animals to be observed both inside and out of the water. They have a specially streamlined body shape, which makes them excellent for propelling through the water at speeds varying up to 25 miles per hour. Leopard seals are aggressive animals which remain alert for the next meal. They prefer to live in a seclusion and hunt alone. The only recognized predator to leopard seals is the killer whale. Their mouths are permanently curved upwards, which creates the illusion of a smile or threatening grin. During the breeding season, both male and female seals become extraordinarily vocal due to vocal cords and long-distance broadcasts for attracting the opposite sex, as their population density is low due to their solitary lifestyles. Female leopard seals are larger than males and can grow up to a weight of 1,300 pounds and gain a length of up to 10 feet. Banana Slugs These slimy banana slugs are residents of moist forests in the Pacific Northwest of the USA, extending from Central California to Alaska. The most important attribute of these slow and strange animals is their slime, which requires a large quantity of water for producing slime constantly. Banana slugs dispense dry granules of mucus which can absorb surrounding water up to several hundred times its volume. It helps the slug to create maximum lubrication with minimum effort. Slime is used for cleaning themselves from debris that sticks to their bodies. They have a mouth on the bottom of their head, its top jaw is used for clamping or cleaving, whereas a sharp-toothed tongue called a radula that grinds food and passes it to the stomach. The banana slug has two sets of tentacles and two small eye spots at the top of the upper tentacles, which can move independently for scanning for any danger. Its bottom two tentacles are meant for feeling and smelling. Giant Tube Worms These giant hydrothermal vent tube worms are called extremophiles as they live in extreme environments. Their colonies exist on hydrothermal vents spewing hot mineral-rich water at some locations having temperatures up to 660 degrees Fahrenheit. They have a unique body structure corresponding to their way of life. They depend on symbiotic bacteria inside them that transform hydrogen sulfide, carbonates, and hydrocarbons. Depending on the mineral content of the water from the vent, water into organic compounds for energy. The process being chemically based is known as chemosynthesis. Their unique characteristic is probably their bright red plume. Its red color is attributed to the presence of a large quantity of blood and it is the plume which provides nutrients to the bacteria. The outer tube of the worm is made of a tough natural substance called chitin. Despite not having eyes, worms can sense movement and vibrations and can retreat to the protective tubes when threatened. African Lungfish This fish, mostly found in South America, Africa and Australia, has a peculiar body and fins. Surprisingly, this species of fish has been surviving on Earth since the Triassic period at least according to scientists, this is about 400 million years ago. Sometimes these are also referred to as living fossils. An arrangement that acts like lungs for these fish have earned them the name of lungfish. They can adapt and breathe easily in depth without water. It can hibernate for years. It can remain high and dry during drought periods when their water habitats disappear. African lungfish are air breathers and rely on gills that interact with functional lungs for providing oxygen. On the disappearance of water, their body responds by tunneling underground and creating a leathery enclosure that retains moisture and permits sufficient airflow around their bodies to keep them breathing. They slow down their biological clock, terminate the normal requirement for sustenance, and survive in an extremely low energy state. They are capable of breathing air and living out of water for extended periods below dried riverbeds in their small burrows made of hardened mud. Octopus In the recent past, a group of 33 scientists published a paper and proposed that octopuses may be considered aliens. Octopuses seem alien as they have tentacles, camouflage, and shape-shifting skills. 
Some believe they evolved about 500 years ago, but we don't know how these odd cephalopods got their awe-inspiring characteristics. Some of its striking features include a large brain and sophisticated nervous system, camera-like eyes, flexible bodies, and instantaneous camouflage through the ability to change color and shape. Octopuses have one central brain and the rest is distributed throughout each arm. As far as brain-to-body ratio is concerned, the octopus has the largest brain ratio compared to any invertebrate. Octopuses are believed to be some of the only invertebrates who use tools and are often mischievous. Alien Suckerfish A video shared by a fisherman showed an unusual suction cup fish that could stick to walls. A TikToker caught the lump fish when he was out at sea. Lumpfish are also known as lump suckers as they have a centrally located suction disc close to their pelvic fins, which helps them to suck or stick onto surfaces. It's a beautifully coloured fish and mostly resorts to a solitary way of life. It's a migratory type of fish which lives between the ocean floor and the shallow beaches. Usually they prefer shallow waters at night, whereas the seabed during the day. They feed on parasites and lice, and they're also known to eat parasites of other fish such as salmon, which makes them ideal pesticides for farmers involved in harvesting salmon. They have to guard against their predators like seals, sperm whales, and sharks. Their eggs, known as caviar, are widely eaten as a delicacy. Lumpfish prefer to live in the cold water of the North Atlantic. Chupacabra Chupacabra is one of the most popular among the mystery beasts and forms an integral part of southern USA and Latin folklore. It's also been part of sensational cable documentaries and incredulous local news reports about monsters and carcass sightings. The mythical creature has been captured on video and people can debate about its appearance. Some believe it to be a hefty creature equal to a small bear having a row of spikes along its back, hops like a kangaroo, and possesses long fangs. However, others believe it to be a much smaller wolf-like animal having skin devoid of hair. Chupacabra is attributed to the Spanish words chupa, meaning to suck, and cabra, which means goat. People believe that it acts like a vampire and sucks the blood of livestock. Its first sighting was reported in 1995 in Puerto Rico. Experts believe these sightings were actually dogs or coyotes suffering parasitic infestation, which caused the fall of their hair, leaving behind thick, bare skin. Mummy Mermaid Researchers are busy investigating the origins of a nightmarish 300-year-old mummified mermaid that's been worshipped for centuries, keeping in view its medicinal properties. It's 12 inches long and kept in a box in a temple in Japan. Supposedly, a fisherman discovered the specimen between 1736 and 1741. Subsequently, it was purchased by a wealthy family. The mermaid mummy, to some extent, resembles two mythical creatures of Japanese folklore. Amabius mermaids with beaks instead of mouths and three prominent tail fins, whereas Ningo's are fish-like creatures having human heads. Both the mythical creatures had been associated with tales of miraculous health cures and enhanced longevity, but a mysteriously gruesome mermaid seems to be an amalgam of a monkey's torso sold into a fish's tail and probably embellished with hair and nails from a human. Before moving to number one on this list, take a look at this terrifying creature. At first look, this picture would frighten just about anyone. Our first thought was to scream at the lady to get out of this beast's way, or else it's going to eat her along with the boat. Do you know what this creature might be? Its mouth and the sharp, huge teeth look mortifying. Could it be the long-extinct megalodon thought to have been extinct for millions of years? The barriers separating this lady from the monster make it look like some sort of a tourist attraction. We really hope this thing is fake, or else she'd be in deep trouble. Star-nosed mole Star-nosed moles are native to North America. Their weird snout plays a critical role in its survival. Its unique mouth organ has over 100,000 nerve fibers, and whenever its nose touches the soil, a mental image is produced that permits the moles to make a picture of their surroundings. Moles' eyes are almost useless, and it depends on its nerve-rich appendage for navigation. Its most prominent feature relates to the sense of touch. It has modified front teeth that work like a pair of tweezers for plucking tiny prey from the ground which moles can locate, identify, and devour in a mere 227 milliseconds, as their heavily clawed arms permit them to quickly dig through the earth. What do you think about these extraordinary creatures? They do seem like they're from a different planet. Do tell us in the comments which one you find the most intriguing, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be back soon with more amazing videos. 
See you all next time.